Mark McDean, LA Times Lakers blog. Lakers opened the preseason, the 2011-12 campaign with a 114-95 loss to the Clippers. Don't overreact, everyone. Don't get the pitchforks and cry hysteria and claim that the Clippers are now superior to the Lakers. It's preseason. That being said, the Lakers have a lot of things to work on. The main area involves defense. This is the staple that Lakers coach Mike Brown has tried to implement in terms of holding players more accountable, closing out the lanes, and making sure they get stops so they can get transition baskets. That happened maybe the first half, but then it all sank in the third quarter where they're severely outscored, 36 to 17. Mike Brown wasn't pleased at all. As positive as he is a coach, he didn't mince words when he said everyone, even including Kobe Bryant, did not have the proper energy and focus in playing defense. That, of course, translated on the offensive end where players self-admittedly still uh, think that they're going through a learning curve as far as knowing where to post up, where to get the ball inside, and where to find the open man. Obviously, the Lakers have not a lot of time to sharpen those areas before this season officially starts Christmas Day against the Chicago Bulls. That being said, a few positive things to point out. The main thing is Kobe Bryant. I mean, he scored 22 points, 5 of 10 shooting. But the main thing is his health. He looked a lot better than in recent seasons where he was plagued by his knee injuries, his finger injuries, everything. Looked a lot more aggressive, looked a lot more fluid, looked a lot more comfortable driving in the lane. That resulted in him getting 12-15 from the line. But the bigs, even though Pal Gasol and Andrew Bynum each hit double figures, 16 and 15 respectively, it didn't really seem like the Lakers were comfortable getting the ball inside and really knowing how to set up that offense. Then you have someone like Metal World Peace. He was absolutely atrocious from the bench. He's supposedly uh, the team's bench leader now, now that Lamar Odom's gone, but he didn't show any good signs when 0 of 8 from the field not really knowing how to get everyone organized as a second unit. And even worse, he thought he actually played well, but the results speak for themselves, he didn't at all. That being said, this is a preseason game. Don't freak out yet, but there's a lot of signs that show that the Lakers are in for a tough season unless they're able to fix these things quickly.